A student at the University of Tennessee, she's right there, defending her graduation picture after posing with a gun in her waistband while lifting her Women for Trump t-shirt. The viral photo comes at a time where both the Second Amendment and conservatives are under attack on college campuses. Joining us now is that student, Brenna Spencer. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So we saw the picture. I know that you've gotten a lot of backlash, and we'll talk about that. But why did you want to wear that T-shirt and then show the gun? Yeah, so taking my graduation photos, I figured that I wanted them to be personal and show who I am and represent the person that I am. So obviously being very passionate about conservative politics and the Second Amendment, I decided that that was what I wanted to do. How did you get to this point in your life? Tell us a little bit about you, where you grew up, what your major is, and why you're so pro-gun and why you support the president. Yeah, um, I grew up in Cincinnati, actually, and my family moved to Nashville when I was around 10 years old. Uh, my parents have been very active in politics, so I kind of got my passion from them and hearing about what you know they have to tell me. So. I want to read some of the tweets that um, we pulled from Twitter. This girl, Lisa, says, you realize employers will see this, right? Hope you enjoy living with mom and dad. Lily says, I support yeah. the second, but don't get why anyone wants photos taken with their gun that anyone can get. Attention seeker, hashtag issues. What's your... So I think um, sexual assault has grabbed a lot of attention these past few years, especially on college campuses. So I think it's important for women to be able to know that they are their first line of defense. So, you know, as the campus leadership, um, campus reform, I'm sorry, as the campus reform has been reporting, the Second Amendment has been under attack, especially on college campuses. So not only do they try to restrict our right to carry on campus, but they also are trying to up the age to 21 to buy a gun. So I think it's really important to empower people to show that y you should be allowed to protect yourself. Your rights don't stop at a college campus. Do you regret doing this? Because it, it's not fun, especially at your age, you're 22 <laughs> years old, to get these attacks from people. And I mean, you have every right to do this, but would you do it again? Yeah, absolutely. I would do it. It's really, really important to empower the tens of millions of women, gun-owning women, and let them know that they have a voice. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of people, I mean, think about this election. A lot of people didn't want to admit that they were voting for Donald Trump. The left did not think he was going to win. Many Republicans didn't think he was going to win, and he did. Many people were scared to, to vocalize why they liked him or that they were voting for him. So what do you say to people who have strong opinions but are too afraid to do them? I mean, you obviously are bold and courageous and don't care about the backlash but what do you what's your advice to people who do care about it you you have a voice you know the backlash is there and you're gonna get hate but it's really really important to stand up for what you believe in it's important to voice your opinions and continue to do it what did your parents think about this <laughs> my parents love it my parents are actually with me right now oh really <laughs> what about your friends yeah. Um, I have a lot of conservative friends, and I actually have a lot of more left-leaning friends, too, and both of them are really, really supportive. Okay. And what do you want to do with your future? What do you want to do? Yes, we'll see. This has opened a lot of doors for me, mm -hmm. so I'm going to kind of roll with it. You know, I've found that to be true. When you find your voice and you don't care what anyone else thinks anymore, a door's just open for you. So we wish you all the best. God bless you. Thanks for being on with us.